protect yourself and your family from unexpected challenges. Consider accident only income protection. Click the link in the description to find out more. Hey Greg, you wish for a little more action? I do wish for more action, Mike. As you wish, Greg. Boxing King Media in association with Riyadh season, the Jackals in town. Carl, great to see you here. How's life? Uh, good, mate. Life's good. Um, I got in last night. Mad places. Um, mad, mad. Different world, absolutely different world. And I'm really enjoying myself. I just want to start off, obviously, there's been, as you know, uh, Western media, other outlets always spread um, disinformation about certain things in life and sometimes you see you know a different perspective of, of countries when you actually come there uh, what's your evaluation of that I'm sure you've been to the Middle East many times I know you go to Dubai quite a lot as well so what's your perception of Saudi Arabia as a country uh, in itself it was my first time in Saudi Arabia it's a lot more it's a lot more liberal than I thought it was going to be um, and obviously you know, being a Westerner, I'm influenced by Western media, and and um, but it's 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 just a more. I, I didn't know what to expect when I came out here, if I'm being honest. But it's a lot more liberal than I thought, and I'm genuinely enjoying myself so far. I mean, we're all here for one reason, one reason only, and that's obviously Tyson Fury takes on Francis and Gone. Just your reaction on the fight itself, what you've seen, the build up, build up the build up, the perception of. Uh, the marketing strategies and, and what they've put behind this. It's unbelievable. Look, even the, like uh, I'm hearing that we we know that the fighters are getting really well paid. Um, rumors of the the event costing up the you know for the fighters and the person alone up to like 50 million, something like that, split between them all. I'm hearing that the advertising of the event throughout the world is an equal sort of amount. So I don't know. I've just never seen anything like this. And obviously they're trying to promote their country and their region as well. And and they're doing a good job at it. You bit, you bit upset that they didn't come in well, time when yeah. you were fighting. You know, I've had, I've had a few conversations about this. Yeah, and I'd love, I'd love the Saudis to have been involved when I was in my pump around 2006. It's got a quick fight. Yeah, around. Yeah, imagine that out there. We'd make five times the money, but um, yeah. Uh, look, it is what it is, and I'm just happy to be here now. As a fighter, when you see someone like Francis and Garnu on the pads, what do you take from that? I don't take a lot from it. I think people are reading into it too much. I don't think, look, he's not going to give away too much in an open workout. I think what when I'm looking at him doing the pads, it looks like he's just trying to get the biomechanics right and, and punching correctly. I wouldn't read too much into that. I know some people criticise that, but, yeah, I, I don't think that's going to reflect on anything we see on the night. You know, the fact that the Usyk fight is signed, and they're going to officially announce the date venue's going to be here in Saudi Arabia after the fight. Is it more imperative now for, for, for Tyson to get rid of Francis as quick as possible? Yeah, I think so. Look, I, I, think, I, I think what he'll do, and he'll have to do anyway, because you know we don't know what to expect from Francis, so he can't rush to the middle of the ring and, and, and try and dominate from the, very, from the opening bell. He needs to have a look at Francis and suss him out for a round or two, I think, and then put his foot down. Um, but I'm just hoping that there's no injuries, there's no cuts. I imagine that he's going to hit Francis quite a lot. Um, just because he's Tyson Fury and it's Francis' debut. Uh, I'm a little bit concerned about his hands. If Francis has a solid chin, which I expect him to have, you know, his hands his hands could easily bust up. Um, and that could be an issue in the Usyk fight. So, look, hopefully um, it goes the way we all expect. And, and I feel like I'm doing a disservice to, to Francis here and saying, you know, we all want Tyson to win, but we do because we want to see the Usyk fight. Um, but I still want to see Francis put in a good performance. And I think a good performance from Francis is enough. That's enough. That's, that's all. That's all people want him to be respected, not to have a blowout, not Tyson, not to walk out and blow him away in one or two rounds. If Francis hangs in there, nails him a couple of times, then I think that's enough for him to get a bit of respect. Is it a matter of fact? Is it fair to say the fight ends when Fury wants it to end? Um, I don't know. I, I can see. I can see why people are saying that. Absolutely. But look again. It's a. You know, it's, it's a, the lineal heavyweight champion fighting a guy making his boxing debut. Albeit he's been a very, very good guy in the MMA world. Um, serious puncher, serious athlete. But it's, ju it's just it's really difficult to make an argument for him winning, I think. 
it's away from this, obviously. I know the other heavyweight fight that everyone wanted to see for many years is anti Joshua with Deontay Wilder. Looks like that fight was set to happen in, here in Saudi in December. It's not happening in Saudi. It's not happening in December. Looks like it's not anti Joshua's next fight either. So, where, where do you see that fight? And obviously, you know, when, when fights are marinated in a way where once upon a time both those individuals had all the belts, both were undefeated, it was big then. Uh, is that fight as big as, as it could have been? Um, I still think it's a huge fight. Um, I don't. It's, it's one of M1s. It's just dragging on a little bit, isn't it? And and it looks like it's not going to be the next fight for either guy. So um, it, it's a fight that still excites me. Um, two two guys who I really respect, who I like to watch. I, you know, I tune into all their fights when they're fighting, no matter who they're fighting. And if they fight each other, it would be a, it would be a mega mega fight that I'd be very excited about. So hopefully, it happens sooner rather than later. Did you see the um, the comments uh, on Talksport? Obviously, Talksport were banned from covering this event. I'm sure you saw that because uh, it's quite it's been out there quite a bit now this week. Uh, but yeah, what have you made of kind of the whole Simon Jordan comments and and and, and the reaction from Queensbury Fury? Um, look, each to their own. Look, Simon Simon has his opinions, and, and that's it. I think that Fury's obviously been aggrieved by what Simon said, but that's you know that's his prerogative. That's that's nothing to do with me. If if he wants to if he wants to not talk to Simon Jordan or Talksport, then that's that's up to him, um, but I think I think Simon will feel like he's been treated a little bit unfairly. He has been very complimentary of Tyson previously in the past, so um, you know uh, I don't know. I, I can see it from both sides. I mean, he said today on, on Talks about that it was embarrassing, and and Tyson's taken this like a he's crying like a baby. Basically, what he said. Yeah, yeah. I don't think he's crying like a baby. I wouldn't say that. I think you're trying to get me banned from Team Fury as well here. But no, um, look, again, each of their own. These guys have their own opinions and, and, and they're on a big enough platform. Um, so, yeah, that's what it is. Carl, I'm not appreciate it. Pre- appreciate you yeah, speaking to Boxing Team Media. Thank you very much. Protect yourself and your family from unexpected challenges. Consider accident-only income protection. Click the link in the description to find out more. Hey, Greg. You wish for a little more action? I do wish for more action, Mike. As you wish, Greg. Ah! Now this is nice. You got two wishes left.